Good day, math learners! Welcome to Division Remediation and Enhancement of Aptitude in Mathematics through e-learning. I am Mrs. Barbara P. De Guzman from Nueve de Febrero Elementary School, and I will be your math buddy for today. Please join me as you explore the world of mathematics. Are you ready? Let's go! Our lesson is about solving multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. In this lesson, you will learn to solve multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. To start our lesson, let's have a quick review about routine problem and non-routine problem. When we say routine problem, from the curricular point of view, routine problem solving involves using at least one of the four arithmetic operations and or ratio to solve problems that are practical in nature. While a non-routine problem is any complex problem that requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve, often these problems can be solved in multiple ways. Like, draw a picture or diagram, make a table, make an organized list, find a pattern, act out a problem, and guess and check. Now you know the difference between routine problem and non-routine problem. This time, let us enumerate the steps on how to solve a multi-step routine and non-routine problem. Let's have our first step. Understand. Let us know what is asked in the problem, know the hidden information, and Find the necessary information. The second step is to plan. In planning, you should determine the operations to be used and write the number sentence. Let us proceed to the third step, which is to solve. In solving, you are going to solve the equation. And last step is to check and look back. So you must check your answer, then state the complete answer with the correct label or unit. Take note of these steps because you will be using this as we continue in our lesson. Are you ready, math learners? Now, let us study problem number one. The Echo Sabers program of a certain school gathered 53 kilos of plastic bottles, sold for 5 pesos per kilo, 256 kilos of white papers for 9 pesos per kilo, and 134 kilos of waste materials for 3 pesos per kilo. How much did they earn in all? To solve the problem, let us apply the steps that I mentioned earlier. Our first step is to understand. Under this step, you need to identify what is asked in the problem. So your answer could be the total amount earned from the materials they gathered. Another one is you have to find the hidden information. So the hidden information in the problem is the amount earned in each material. And lastly, gathered all the necessary information. So the necessary information in the problem are 53 kilos of plastic bottles sold for 5 pesos per kilo, 256 kilos of white papers for 9 pesos per kilo, and 134 kilos of waste materials for 3 pesos per kilo. So we are done in our first step. 
Let us proceed now in our second step, which is to plan. Under this step, we really need to determine the operation to be used. So the operations that we are going to use here are multiplication and addition. Now, let us write the number sentence. So we have 53 times 5 with an open and closed parenthesis plus 256 times 9 plus 134 times 3 equals n, where n is the total earned by the Echo Savers program. Now, here is the third step. So, let us solve the equation. Let us first multiply 53 times 5 equals 265. Then, Multiply 256 times 9 equals 2,304. Next, multiply 134 times 3 equals 402. Then, let's add 265 plus 2,304 plus 402 equals 2,971 Our final step is to check and look back. Check your answer, then state the complete answer with the correct label or unit. Therefore, there were 2,971 earned from the Echo Savers program. Let's try another example. We have problem number 2. Ami has 12 bills in 500 pesos and 200 pesos. If the number of her 500 bills is 3 times as many as the number of her 200 pesos bills, how much money does she have in all? So step 1. Understand. Know what is asked in the problem. So what is asked in the problem? Yes, correct. The total amount Ami had. Then, if any, find the hidden informations. So, the hidden informations is the number of 500 bills and 200 bills that Ami had. Another one is you have to identify the necessary information. So, the necessary information is 12 bills, the number of 500 bills is 3 times as many as the number of 200 bills. Step 2 is to plan. Using the problem-solving strategy. Since this is a non-routine problem, we are going to use a black model method like this. Next, let us determine the operation to be used. So the operations that we are going to use are Multiplication and addition. Step 3. Solve. Let us solve the equation using the black model method. Let us go back in our problem. So Ami has 12 bills. Since 500 bills is 3 times as many as the number of 200 bills, as you can see, I put 3 blocks to represent for 500 bills. We have 1, 2, and 3, and 1 block to represent for 200 bill, to make it 4 blocks. So 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Therefore, each block has 3 bills. So we have 9 pieces of 500 bills and 3 pieces of 200 bills. Now let us multiply. 500 times 9 equals 4,500. 200 times 3 equals 600. Then let's add. 
4,500 plus 600 equals 5,100. Step 4. Check and look back. After solving the equation, you can now check and look back. Check your answer. Then state the complete answer with the correct label or unit. So the answer is, Ami has a total amount of 5,100. This time, let us answer these questions. Question number one. One dozen egg costs 84 pesos. If Jay bought three dozen eggs and pays it for 300 pesos, how much is his change? Is it letter A, 28 pesos, B, 38 pesos, C, 48 pesos, or letter D, 58 pesos? Yes, correct. The answer is letter C. Let's have question number two. Eileen bought two dozens of pencils at 6 pesos each. How much change did she get from two 100 pesos bills? Is it letter A, 60 pesos, B, 56 pesos, C, 50 pesos, or letter D, 48 pesos? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Now, let us answer question number 3. Mira bought 8 glasses of buku juice at 15 pesos each and 10 cupcakes at 7 pesos each. How much did Mira spend? Is it letter A, 190 pesos? B, 180 pesos? C, 170 pesos? Or letter D, 160 pesos? Alright! The correct answer is letter A. Good job, math learners. Remember, my dear math learners, to solve multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication and addition or subtraction using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools, it is important that we are guided by these steps. The first step is to understand. The second step is to plan. Third step is to solve. The last step is to check and look back. That's the end of my discussion. I hope that you learned something from our lesson today. Once again, I am Teacher Barbara, leaving this saying, I dream, you dream, we dream. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!